The Army Air Force managed to overhaul an F-14 fighter jet, which was grounded for 18 years, commander of the Iranian Army Air Force Brigadier General Hamid Vahedi said. He added that the overhaul operations on the aircraft was conducted in the Air Force's base in Isfahan over a period of three years. Our enemies never thought we could overhaul this aircraft and use it after years, seeing its very complicated maintenance, General Vahedi said. He added that thousands of parts of the fighter plane were replaced or repaired during the overhaul process. From a tizzy of the repair and maintenance process was carried out by domestic experts and we needed the help of no foreign company, General Vahedi said. In a relevant development last year, the experts at the Iranian Army Air Force's Martyr Habibi Zaham base in the northeastern city of Mashhad overhauled an F-5 bomber fighter jet. With the efforts of young, talented and committed specialists and experts of Martyr Habibi Zaham base in Mashhad, an F-5 fighter-bomber aircraft was overhauled in 10,000 man-hours of work, relying on domestic power and indigenous know-how, and joined the air fleet of the Islamic Republic of Iran, commander of the base General Hamid Mostafavi said at the time. He described the achievement as an honor for the Air Force which has been able to overhaul fighter jets by reliance on the domestic skills. Today, the know-how to overhaul different types of aircraft, train pilots and supply the needed parts and weapons has become indigenized in the Army Air Force and we are not dependent on foreign countries at all," General Mostafavi said. In past years, experts with the Iranian Air Force have successfully overhauled an F-4 fighter, rendering it airworthy, news agencies reported on Sunday. The 1.5-year-long project at the Shahid Lashkari Air Force Base in northern Tehran province was finished, using up to 18,000 man-hours, Tasnim News Agency reported on Sunday. The aircraft had been grounded for years before the overhaul process began. It has undergone a final test and restored to the Air Force's fleet. The news of the overhaul came as Defense Minister Brigadier General Amir Hatami said on Sunday Iran's armed forces are not afraid of any enemy. Today, notwithstanding all the enemy's hue and cry, our beloved nation stands steadfast courageously and powerfully, he told a group of military cadets in Tehran. Thank God, the enemies have fallen short of realizing all their objectives so far, he added. Iran's armed forces, he said, are capable of guaranteeing security in the region. Today, we are honored to be pushing for maintaining stability and security in the region, Hatami said. The Global Firepower List 2018 has ranked various countries in accordance with their defensive strength, placing the Islamic Republic on the 13th position above Israel and Saudi Arabia. This is while Tel Aviv and Riyadh enjoy open-handed military support from the United States, and their military spending rises well above Iran, whose defense budget is even less than that of the United Arab Emirates, according to officials. Modernization of Iranian F-4 and F-5 fighters has focused on improving their capabilities for roles other than air-to-air -air combat, with F-4s in particular optimized for air-to-ground and anti-shipping missions. They have for the former role been equipped with domestically developed precision-guided bombs, which were demonstrated in combat by Iranian drones on strike missions in Syria as well as in limited strikes by F-4s on Islamic State insurgents in Iraq. For anti-shipping the fighters have used a range of Chinese cruise missile designs which have been produced under license in Iran since the 2000s and take advantage of the F-4's high endurance, large carrying capacity and high speed and altitude. While the F-4 and F-5 are fast aging, it remains uncertain whether the Iranian Air Force is in fact intending to phase them out of service despite affordable fourth-generation foreign aircraft being available.
Although the fighters may remain somewhat viable in strike roles, the age of the airframes which are both worn out and built with long outdated manufacturing techniques mean operational costs particularly for the heavier F-4 are significantly higher than a modern lightweight multi-role fighter purchased from abroad such as the Chinese J-10 or Sino-Pakistani JF-17 or the Russian medium-weight MiG-29M. The discrepancy in operational costs means it may in fact be cheaper for Iran to purchase new fighters rather than retain the old ones in service, which to many is the most powerful argument for a foreign acquisition.